What is that thing? Is it a pill bug? Is it a woodlouse? Is it a creature from your worst nightmare? Let me introduce you to the giant isopod. This large, ancient-looking deep-sea crustacean is not for the faint of heart. You may want to look away, but we wouldn't feature a creature on this show unless it has a cool story. A giant isopod might give you the heebie-jeebies, but by the end of this episode, it may become your new favorite animal. Or not. There's only one way to find out. Follow me. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that creepy. How big do these sea bugs get? Why are they so much bigger than other isopods? And why are their eating habits so strange? As its name implies, the giant isopod is the biggest isopod in the world. This order of crustaceans includes wood lice, which is why they look so similar. Isopods can live in the sea, fresh water, or on land. Giant isopods live in one of the world's most inhospitable ecosystems on ocean floors about 500 meters or more below the surface. They typically reside in the Pacific Ocean near Japan, the South China Sea, and even the Gulf of Mexico. While most seafaring isopods are tiny, giant isopods can grow over 30 centimeters long. There are many hypotheses as to why they are so large. One theory suggests that their size is an adaptation to living so deep in the sea, and the larger cells in the crustacean's body can better withstand the frigid temperatures and extreme pressure. This idea comes from a 1996 theory about deep sea gigantism. Another possible explanation is that fewer predators live in the deep sea, which allows the creatures living there to grow larger, like the giant squid. A third suggestion is that being larger allows giant isopods to increase their fasting potential by storing more fat reserves. Giant isopods are scavengers. When a large animal dies, sea creatures and birds close to the surface get first dibs on its meat. What's left of the carcass eventually sinks to the ocean floor, where the isopods and other bizarre creatures are waiting to finish the remains. For giant isopods, it's either feast or famine. Food is so scarce on the ocean floor that isopods have very slow metabolisms. This means they can fast or go without eating for a long time. One giant isopod living in captivity at Japan's Toba Aquarium fasted for five years, refusing to eat food from its caretakers. Tragically, it died shortly after that. The Japanese press said that no animal has survived in captivity that long without eating. Giant isopods are constantly in a state of semi-hibernation. When a meal does appear, they gorge themselves. Videos show giant isopods eating entire whale and alligator carcasses, and they've even preyed on live sharks. These isopods voraciously tear up their prey, and sometimes they eat so much they can't move afterward. Sounds like me after eating multiple plates of lasagna. Giant isopods have existed for about 300 million years, even before the Pangaea supercontinent split into the seven continents we know today. Scientists believe they survived as they don't need to eat often. Despite their eerie appearance and unusual lifestyle, they're pop culture stars in Japan. Giant isopod fans keep them close in the form of smartphone cases and plush toys. And like pill bugs, better known as roly polies, their scientific name, giant isopods tend to curl into a ball when threatened by a predator. That makes them kind of cute in their own weird way. And you know how much we love weird animals here. If bizarre sea creatures excite you, maybe you'd like to learn about the giant isopod's equally odd counterpart, the horseshoe crab. Check out our episode to find out more. Being gluttonous and fasting for years is what giant isopods do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures. <laughs>